Hey there and welcome to my channel. In this video, I would like to share my experience with you how I learned how to code. Stay tuned. So before we get started, my name is Eugene. Welcome to my channel. I'm a software developer in TAS and this is my channel. On my channel, I talk about software development, software testing, automated testing, how to make your application, how to make your product better, and how to make yourself better as a developer. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and make sure you click that uh, bell notification button so you get notification when I post a new video on my channel. Again, thank you so much and welcome and let's jump into my story. So, uh, at the beginning of my career, I worked as a software tester. Uh, I was doing primarily manual test uh, testing and uh, there was a, a picture or there was an understanding in my hands that if I want to stay in software industry in tech if i want to if i want to advance my career if i want to be relevant i absolutely have to learn programming like a programming language and i absolutely have to know how to code and how to write test automation and how to like how to handle tools for test automation and this is where i start learning programming languages and exploring different tools, uh, different technologies for test automation and um, uh, my first language that I started with was Java. And as Java as a first programming language, I'm gonna tell you that it was a terrible, terrible decision from my perspective, from, uh, from where it was coming from because before Java, I didn't know how to code. I didn't really know anything about programming. So um, the way I uh, the way I tackled this situation, I started learning how to how to do automated testing with Selenium WebDriver with Java. I freaked out literally after each and every error or when my build failed. I had no idea what was going on. I had no idea how to handle those uh, errors or like even how how to understand what the error was like telling me so that's why I was so scared and frustrated so and after that I decided to hire a tutor for Java actually I hired a couple of tutors uh, to understand better Java to uh, do uh, better like automated like tests and uh, and things like that and my first like uh, a couple of sessions and they were they were so overwhelming my tutor started talking about algorithms and data data structures memory management um, um, and, 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 and all of that so it was really 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 overwhelming and the first uh, exercise that we did uh it was a hello world it was like algorithms like uh, uh you have a you have an array and then you have to reverse the array or you have to like you you, you have to go through the array and uh, remove all of the duplicates so standard algorithms and it was so so overwhelming and it didn't make any sense to me and i was thinking like oh my gosh i i i i i, I can program i can't really do anything with a programming language and it was really really frustrating and upsetting for me so uh after that i uh, was looking for other sources and other um, other ways to improve myself and I found uh, a course online bootcamp for Selenium WebDriver uh, with Ruby and Ruby was really easy and um, um, 
I didn't really get a chance to learn Ruby as a programming language because on for that bootcamp, the focus was Selenium WebDriver and how to be, handle Selenium WebDriver. And as far as uh, a programming language goes, uh, my instructor just simply said, well, you have to just apply those principles for whatever programming language you're gonna learn. So it was a really good learning experience for me and I re really learned uh, Ruby the whole lot, but I, it was a lot easier and it gave me a little bit more confidence that I actually can do it myself. So um, after that, I was exploring, um, I, 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 after that boot camp, um, I was thinking maybe like I am approaching programming languages and how to how to learn test automation wrong so i'm trying to focus on uh, a tool or on the test automation tool selenium web driver at that at that point in my career but maybe i have to rethink the way i approach test automation and maybe i have to think programming language first and um, the best programming language for that to learn how to code and to learn how to handle um, like programming and learn how to pro uh, handle programming was Python. So I went, uh, I, uh, I went on Udemy and I found a course for Python and it was pretty much beginner from uh, like uh, from very Python fundamentals to more advanced features and um, uh, working with libraries like pandas and graphics and numbers and like things like that. So I really, really like that. And um, after in the, like in the, in the middle of my course, I had that perspective in my the, the goal why I'm learning a programming language. I'm learning a programming language to um, to apply it for my job and do test automation. So I decided to apply my knowledge to uh, with Selenium WebDriver, and I I started doing test automation with Python, and I was really really amazed how easy it was because the language is so easy, and the syntax is so easy, and it just worked. And um, when something didn't work, uh, the error messages were so much clear and I I just I could understand what was going on and it gave me a lot of confidence and um, I started in, uh, implementing uh, I started applying that knowledge uh, in my job and um, I was trying to automate um, smoke test uh, for our build acceptance test and uh, I was trying to um, automate as many test cases as I could for our re regression test. And I, and I have pretty, pretty good uh, success with that. And um, uh, as I going along, the second programming language that I had to learn was JavaScript. Well, actually I lied. Uh, my first programming language that I ever learned as a programming language just to get to know it and just to like get to understanding of things was JavaScript because it was so easy I was able to see what I was doing on the browser and um, I picked up one of the YouTube courses and I was just doing whatever the guy was saying and um, it was so easy for me too, but I couldn't really under I couldn't really apply that knowledge to my Go. So it was just a vanilla JavaScript. It wasn't like Protractor or WebDriver IO or anything like that. It was just a plain vanilla JavaScript, and it was a lot. It was a lot of fun because I was able to write my little. Um, application, my little like questionnaire or uh, quiz or 
uh, dialogue with the user, like input, output, and it was so cool. I really, really enjoyed that. But uh, I couldn't really, I couldn't really connect the dots and uh, understand how to apply that knowledge about JavaScript to the uh, Selenium web driver. Until later on, I got to the project where I was working on um, uh, Postman for um, the API testing and Pro Tracker, and it was absolutely amazing. I I was able to pick up JavaScript just like that because I already knew I already knew Python, and I already was familiar with with programming languages. So I was kind of uh, I was doing both API testing with uh, Postman, and with Postman you don't really have to know a lot of JavaScript. JavaScript it's just like functions, it's just like assertions, and like you have to have really good logic. For your test, but you don't really need to know a programming, a programming language that well. But my skills uh, with the JavaScript when I was working with ProTracker um, and then later on on WebDriver, I owe a lot of it improved dramatically. And and I, to be honest with you, I really like I really like a JavaScript language. And it's that it's easy to use. It's easy to understand. And, um, and you can make it more stable with TypeScript. So um, yeah, and use WebDriver.io or ProTracker with TypeScript. So I really, really enjoy that language. And then after that, I had to uh, work with mobile applications. And um, my official title was as that, but um, I, I had a lot of work to do and um, they didn't really have test automation in place and I didn't really have the whole lot of information about infrastructure and I learned and I figured that out like later on uh, on the project. So I had to I had to figure out how how to automate those tests that I was doing and I was uh, I really like iOS. And uh, I decided to start with iOS because it is it was a little bit more simpler and easier. And I uh, I decided to try XUI test native technology. And um, I uh, the my first step was learning Swift as a programming language and learning about iOS um, development and iOS mobile development. And it was. It was really helpful. After, after like probably like a month, uh, probably like a yeah, like a month, maybe like three weeks or so. Um, I I picked uh, I I figured that out, and I knew enough Swift to uh, start doing my uh, test automation. And uh, as a proof of concept. I uh, tr I tried to uh, I tried to play around with a application um, with a calculator and I created my little framework and uh, um, I show I showed it to uh, uh, mobile team manager and he said like yeah it looks pretty good so why don't you just apply the same principle to uh, our mobile like our application and it was super easy to use and I started working on uh, my test or my test and my at the beginning I was focusing on how to like how to make my test work and then I refactor my tests I uh, I created like I created um, a framework for my own major testing and it was a lot a lot a lot a lot of fun so, and this is how I learned Swift. I had to interact with other programming languages like C Sharp. Um, I had a really uh, short project uh, with API testing and with C Sharp. And C Sharp is a lot like Java. And uh, when I started working on that project, it was really frustrating for me because remember, remember what I told you about Java, and I, I just like, oh my god! After, 
after Swift, after JavaScript, after after Protractor, um, C Sharp was the whole another like the whole different uh, way of thinking, and Python, yeah, it was it was a little different. So, but I I was able to figure it out, and um, for that project, I was actually foc uh, uh, I, I actually focused on uh, the tool itself, how how to use API to that library like to write my automated tasks and it was it was it was fun and as uh, as as soon as I figure out C sharp part of uh, of that tool it was super easy to write tests and it was super easy to implement it in the future so um, uh, would I choose C sharp as a like as a language of choice for API testing probably not but if I have to work on an uh, API project and it's already in C sharp like I I totally would do that because I already have that experience and uh, the more you do it the more you get used to it and the more you like get better understanding of a language and uh, at that point when you know several programming languages it's just easier to go ahead and do it to go ahead and uh, learn another language so if you're curious how would you learn a new programming language or your first programming language I would say uh, Practice, practice as much as you can, and have a go. Uh, learn fundamentals of that of that pro particular programming language, and just and just try to build something. If it is test automation, try to build your first automated test. Uh, really simple, really easy. Then you can add complex add complexity to that later. But try to apply your knowledge as soon as you can. So I hope you like this video and please tell me about your experience with programming language with programming languages. How did you learn programming languages and what is your uh, experience? What is your story? How do you, how do you like programming? Um, and uh, I really hope to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned and stay connected. I will see you next time. Bye.